right above, you can take a look at the position of the probe, and uh, this is the orbit it is now on at present. Uh, it has already entered the orbit that is leading to the Mars. And let me give you some introduction here about this orbit. So recently there has been a very intense exploration on Mars because right now the Mars is the closest to the Earth. So we are taking this transfer orbit, and in 1925, a German scientist called Hormann put forward this theory. And uh, when the spacecraft uh, takes off from the Earth, uh, when it is traveling at the second universe speed, it will uh, have a acceleration. And then for the majority of the remaining journey, it doesn't need to take a lot of uh, energy as long as it enters this uh, transfer orbit. And then after roughly more than 200 days, it will enter the orbit of Mars. And uh, when it approaches the Mars, it will decelerate and slow down. And it takes a lot of uh, combustion fuel and uh, the engine. And uh, when it approaches the Mars, it will slow down to the point where the gravity of the Mars can grasp with this spacecraft. So it is only through this can the probe be captured by the Mars. Now you can take a look at the HOPE probe. We watched closely a while back. It is right now roughly 2.7 million kilometers away from the Earth. Uh, when it was one million away from the Earth, it sent back a photo of the Mars back to Earth. So this tells that everything is in normal conditions right now, and it's following the uh, trajectory to the Mars. And the Tianwen number one is also on the right track moving towards the Mars. And so these two probes, they're just like runners on a track. One is flying ahead of the other. And although they are flying in the same orbit, but is it possible that the two probes can see each other? Well, the scientists told us that the possibility is very low because in the outer space, it's just very distant from each other. But by February next year, these two probes, they will enter the orbit of the Mars. And that will constitute another big challenge, which is you know whether they can be grabbed or captured by the gravity of the Mars, and whether they can enter the orbit of the Mars. So this is also the most difficult and challenging point. As you might know that right now, the success rate of probes entering the orbit of Mars is only roughly 50%, which means that if you could successfully enter the orbit of the Mars, it would be already very difficult. Uh, unlike the Tianwen number one, the whole probe, when it enters the orbit of the Mars, it will circle around the Mars for like one year, and it will conduct imaging about the atmosphere conditions of the Mars. But our Tianwen number one probe is a lot more sophisticated. As you might know that the Tianwen number one will not just circle around the Mars, and we will also land on the Mars, and our probe will also explore on the Mars. We will conduct a lot of researches and expeditions on the Mars, which means that uh, our efforts, our mission is a lot more difficult. And right now, everything is showing that uh, it's well under control and that everything is in normal. So unlike what we have uh, planned, 
it will um, slightly adjust the trajectory of the probe so as to maintain that it will um, stay right on track and this will last roughly 200 days and by February the 10th next year for Hope probe and also for Tianwen number one probe of China they will enter the second very challenging stage so this is all to today's uh, program and thank you very much for watching